All right, this is the last one in section four of chapter 17. And um, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Um, but we got a rod here. The rod is already rotating. Okay, so it's got an omega equal to six at the time that we're looking at it. And our job is to try and figure out what's happening with the axle at O and what is the angular acceleration of the rod, okay? So we begin in all the usual ways, which is thinking about the forces, thinking about what's a good coordinate system. And so let's start with um, what's happening with P. So the rope P is pulling, it's pulling in this direction here, which isn't a very useful way for us to think about it. So we're going to split it into components. So there's a component this way. And you can see we've got a triangle, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. So that's a 3, 4. That's the 3, 4 configuration there. And so that means we're going as 4 fifths. 4 fifths of 30 is 240. Okay, so I'm going to call this... P, uh, well, I don't know what to call it yet. Oops, we just want to call it 240. Okay, and then there's also a component this way, and that component is going to be 180. So that's going to 3 fifths uh, of 300. Okay, um, so now let's go to O. What's happening at O? At O, we've got O in, so the normal force there. And I picked that again because we're rotating through here, which means our centripetal acceleration is going to be directed toward the left like this. Okay, and so I'm going to go ahead and call tangential component of O up here. We'll just put it in the positive Y direction like that. And so that's going to match my. 240 number right there. So let's come back in and let's call this guy PT. That's a D. PT and this guy PN. Just like that. Now we have one more force in here and my drawing is going to get just a little bit yucky for a second. Uh, and that's because we've got right here halfway in the middle of this thing we've got the weight mg, okay? And our distance over to there is gonna be 0.45, just like that. So we've got almost everything set up. Um, well, I mean, we got all our forces set up, we got our coordinate system set up, so all that's good. What we need to set up, or what we need to go ahead and do is get the moment of inertia. So it's gonna make sense to just let this thing do all our calculations around the natural pivot, the axle at O. And so that means when we get here, we need I O. And the moment of inertia of a rod around its end is well known, one third ML squared. And when we put in the mass and the length, what we get for this is eight. 8.1, 8.1, just like that. Okay. Well, let's move to summing our moments. And so we are summing about O in this case. And so we get no moment from OT, no moment from ON, no moment from PN. We get a moment from PT, and that is going to be positive. So let's say positive PT, and it's out there at a distance of 0.6. We've got a negative moment from the weight, so minus mg, and it's at a distance of 0.45. And that has to be equal to IO onto alpha. All right, so uh, then if we put in all of our numbers for PT and for M and for G and do our algebra, I'm getting kind of tired, so I'm just going to tell you what the answer is. But anyway, you can you can run you can crunch the numbers on this thing. 
alpha is going to turn out to be 1.428. Okay, like so. And again, do the calculation, make sure it fits. Okay, especially, I mean, you might have some slightly different numbers on yours um, as you're working through it. Now let's get to uh, summing forces in the normal direction. Uh, so we've got ON. Okay, and remember, this time to the left is positive as we're doing this. And we've got PN. So those guys are working together to create M omega squared R. Now we know that PN is 180. We know the mass. We know omega is 6. We know R. Okay, R is going to be 0.45 when we put it in here. And so O sub N, once we run all those numbers, is 306. Okay, 306. And you can see um, O N has to do different different things depending on how quickly it's rotating. Um, if omega were small, then oh oh I should have showed you that. Let's 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 back that up a little bit. Let's do this algebra here. So O N it's minus P N plus M omega squared R. And so if we didn't have any rotation at all, if the M omega squared R term was gone, O N is gonna counteract P N. We've drawn it wrong. It's a negative number, but in a way, it comes out in the wash. But as this thing begins to rotate, um, then ON has to do more and more. And we, we might have a good time playing around with when does ON equal zero? Okay, is that is that a possibility? And that would represent some sort of perhaps optimal system configuration where we know, okay, if we rotate this thing just right, that pin at O, it doesn't have to do very much, okay? But it's going to do a lot, and it's got to supply 306 newtons. So now let's try to figure out what's happening with its uh, upward force, the pin's upward force, OT. Okay, upward we've got... Oh, my goodness. We've got OT, and we've got PT, and minus MG. Okay, so those are our three forces. The only one we don't know is OT. We know everything else. And then this has to equal to M alpha R. So we got to play the game again, figure out which direct, do we need a positive in there? Do we need a negative in there? Okay. So as we've defined and as we expect things to move, upward is translationally positive, which corresponds to a, a positive alpha value, just like that. So we can pick a positive in there when we do that thing, just like that, okay? Plug in alpha, plug in R, R is 0.45. Um, we know PT, anyway, run all those numbers and uh, OT turns out to be 73.58. Okay, and that's Newton's, of course. This was Newton's too. All right. Okay, it's the name of the game with these. My advice is always the same. Be methodical. Take your time, all right? Line everything up, just like I've done here, okay? If your scratch paper is a mess, that means your thinking is a mess, and that makes it harder to, to get it to work out. Try to keep your workspace straight and neat and that's going to help your thoughts stay straight and neat and that will make it easier to work the problem okay all right that's all for that